Say what Ken Folk said. I gave my heart to the game and I ain't get shit in return for it. It comes to those who want it most, you gotta yearn for it. You live, you learn, and Lord knows that I done learn from it. This shit I've been through, it could turn stomachs. So I'm just keeping it a bean, dog. Say, Key, what's happening with you? But what that is right there that fell out your bag? Oh, shit, damn, boy. Good looking, good looking. I mean, what that is? I mean, it's just my KY, boy. KY? Man, what the hell KY is? Man, Rocky, you don't know what KY is, be dog? No, I'm just saying, what, well, man, what that is? I'm about to learn you something today. For real, for real. Oh, now, I already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man, before I start my video, bro. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification out. So, anytime I drop video, you be notified. Hey, South Rocky, you can hop on. We can kick it and we can vibe. So one day I'm cooling, you feel me? I'm out in Walmart with my little yeah at the time, you feel me? We all in Walmart and we just looking through some shit, you feel me? Now as the time we looking through some shit, you know, we had one down this little aisle. We go down the aisle, bro. We had seen like these lubricants, you feel me? So as we looking through the lubricants, I see this lubricant called KY lubricant. Now they got two different KYs, you feel me? Well, I don't know how many they got now, but at the time when I was looking through the shit, you feel me? They had two different KYs. They had this KY that was thick. They're like you, you when you put that bitch in your hand because we experimenting you feel me you put the ky in your hand you get the rubbing it be thick you feel me i ain't really like that one because that bit dry too quick but then they had the other one that bit was like water you feel me you put that bit i'm talking about soon you put that bitch in your hand you want to get them right that bit was like water you feel me so you could be squirt the ky in that shit. you i'm talking about gushing you feel me so we like, man, let's let try to get a little KY, whatever, you feel me? Let's get the KY, boom, so we get the KY. We started using the KY. When I started using KY, KY was like, was like heaven on earth, okay? Now, if you were the female and she dries up a little quicker, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the K may be, you bust out that KY, you know, she gonna feel like, hey, Hey, listen to me. I'm telling as soon as you put that bitch on there, then it warm up a little bit. You feel me? They got some that warm up a little bit. So you you ooh, uh-uh. Now for the guys who 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 ejaculate a little too quick, you don't want to get that one. You just get the water based one, you know, keep the pee and keep it pushing. I started using that. Once I started using the KY, you know, I felt like I was ahead of my time because None of my homeboys was talking about KY. Then nobody I kicked it with talked about KY. So it was like, damn, does anybody know about this? But motherfuckers who be freaky, them little freaky motherfuckers, they know about that KY, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So I was using the KY while I was in while I was in the city. You know what I'm saying? So it was time for me to go out of town. When I first started going out of town, I ain't do no cheating. I was really just cooling, you feel me? I was mastering my craft when it came down to work. You know what I'm saying? I was just on my type too. Where I was like, man, I'm finna come out here, make money for my family, come back home, and just, you know what I'm saying, do me, do key type shit like that. And it was soon change as I get introduced to the me, 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 and Now, when I had ran into the little, when I had ran into the little cougar bit, you know what I'm saying? She was like 33. When I ran into her, I didn't, I didn't use the KY because it was just like a one night stand type shit. Like, you know, I met her that night, I smashed that night. And then she got on by her way. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, obviously she gave me the game. I changed my name to Keith. You know how the story go. So, as time go on, and I started getting these females in, I started talking to these different females and doing this and doing that. I, I, I was like, my mom was like, bro, I'm about to go to Walmart and get the KY bit. You know what I'm saying? Because the KY was exclusive. Like, motherfucker didn't, motherfucker didn't know nothing about that, bro. I'm telling you, motherfucker was not on beat with that. But they was sleep. you feel me? So I go to Walmart and I get the KY. Boom, when I get the KY, I had end up getting two bottles because, you know, I was, at that time, I was really active, you feel me? So I get two bottles just in case because I ain't trying to run out of them, you feel me? So as I'm out here doing my diddy, and I ain't talking P diddy. Now I'm, I'm gonna change that. As I'm out here doing my ditty and I ain't talking Sean Combs. Yes, I was doing it. I'm out here doing my ditty and shit. You feel me? Motherfucker, was like, let me not, let me not try to lie. I really didn't like using condoms because I felt like 
for one, either they'll bust or when I put that bitch on, it would like make me get soft. You feel me? So it was like I had found these ultra thin ones, and I was like, okay, these cool. You feel me? And I'm fucking with the Magnum. I was like, okay, these cool, but I just feel like when I put the bitch on, I get soft. Like I was allergic to it or something. You feel me? But I don't condone and nobody not. I don't condone and, and young men and young women being like, okay, I don't want to use a rubber because you never know what can happen. You could be messing around with somebody, bro, and they know they got something. And they still poke you down with no, with no rub on. You feel me? Then you go back to that person because you know this is the only person you smashing at this time. You tell them you gave me something. They try to tell you you gave me something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a cold get down to me. Somebody who gave you a disease on purpose and lied about it. That's a cold get down to me. All right? So, I ain't really like using rubbers, and I'm just kind of glad that I never caught a disease. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I have been checked. So please don't try. Well, have you ever been checking? Yes, yes. I don't have no diseases. I don't have nothing, bro. I'm, 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 I'm solid. You feel me? And and yeah, I know it's kind of dirty because I was going back smashing BM occasionally. Because at one point I was really kind of like I ain't really trying to, I ain't really trying to have sex. You feel me? I'll come back home for those two days and she be all up on like I ain't really. What 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 you been going all week? I know I ain't really. I ain't. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I, I literally check out some blood before I came home. I ain't even trying to, I'm cool, you feel me? So, I started using the KY bit. When I started using the KY, females was like, wow, I was so wet down there. That's, that's that KY bit. That's that, why it felt like that, man. That's that KY bit. So, I'm showing them, like, man, this the bottle right here, that, that KY. What, what that is? I imagine, like, some little lubricant, you feel me? Little water based lubricant, that bit fado, you feel me? You fucking with it? Yeah, yeah, use it next time we do it. You use it. Bet that, bet that. So, it was a couple girls that I brought into the room with J Rock in the room, too. You feel me? So, Rock always paid attention to his surroundings. You know what I'm saying? And Rock would be watching these girls go in and out. Rock would be, I tell Rock, like, hey, bitch, I'm finna go ahead and get a fight. This bitch, I'm finna skedaddle, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He go to the phone. Rock be like, all right, bitch, you got you another one? I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah. So Rock, he never asked me, well, what she look like? Because Rock would get the phone and he'll come out on, on the rock. You feel me? He'll come out on, on, on the, now I said Rock, like I'm in prison, son. He came out on, 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 on the, the balcony part. You know what I'm saying? If we was at the top, if we was at the bottom, he'd just come out the door and he'd sit in front of the door. You know, that was his that was his get down. Rock like to just go outside and sit in front of the door and use the phone. So he'll see the female pulling up, picking me up, and we'll be dipping, right? So one day, right, one day I'm getting ready, right? So I'm already knowing I'm finna book it to old girl how we ain't already playing this and everything, you feel me? So I fit around and I'm 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 fumbling through my bag trying to get the KY. The KY fall out the bag. Boom. When it falls out the bag, rock like Man, keep what that is, boy. I'm like, oh shit, boy, good looking, good looking, boy. You feel me? So I, ugh, I get the KY. I took that bitch in my pocket. You feel me? I'm like, man, what that was? All right, man, that was just, man, that's just some KY. Fool, I pull it back. I'm like, man, just a KY bottle. You feel me, man? What that is? I'm like, right, you don't know what KY is? No, I'm just saying, bro, what that is, bro. All right, man, it's just like some lubricant, water-based lubricant. You feel me? Like you, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you getting ready to do what you gonna do, you feel me? You just squirt that bitch on your dick, you feel me? You squirt it, you squirt it in her or something, you feel me? And then you get to, and I'm talking about right that bit, man. That bit feel, man, like a, like a, like a glacier, you feel me? That bit, what? Hey, boy, you hell, boy. You smart, smart. Rocky, that was his favorite line. Boy, you smart, boy, you smart. Boy, you smart. That was his favorite line. He ain't even had to be smart, he said shit. So he like, man, I'm out at you when you get back. I'm like, all right, bit. So I go out, you know what I'm saying? I do my thing or whatever, and I come back over there, drop me off. So Rock like, man, bro, where you get that from, bro? I'm like, shit, the Walmart down the street, bro. Like, you can get that in any Walmart, you feel me? Like, man, man, I got the eyes. Right, so keep look, bro. I got that little snow bunny I'm messing with, right? Right? Man, she a freak. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, man, look. So now he running it down to me about this story. This me and Rock talking right here. Man, so last week I had Kane. I'm not matter of fact, it was like two weeks ago when we had Kane back, you feel me? Remember you had stepped on that nail? Yeah, I remember I had stepped on that. So, yeah, that week right there when you stepped on that nail, Key, right? It might have been a 
a little long. Anyway, so check me out, man. I fucked around and I went home, right? You know, we had got like the little extra bread or whatever you feel. I'm, I'm making money and shit. So I went to the dope man. The dope man, he gave me a big big bag. He gave me a big bag, you feel me? So as he gave me the big bag, it's this little female that right around the corner, you feel me? And she always be eyeing me and everything. He a little snow bunny, you feel me? But you know, sometimes like, I be breaking all, but I ain't never just, ain't never just amount to nothing, you feel me? I'm like, right, right, right. But shit, then we right here, Brad bought that sack. I asked her, like, you trying to come to my house? You know what I'm saying? She like, yeah, we can go to your house. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know me in the Grove. Rock was from the Grove, you feel me? Everybody know me in the Grove and everything, you feel me? So I take her around to my house or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And me and her just get to snoring the dope. Me and her just get to snoring the dope, you feel me? And I ain't gonna lie, man. She a little younger, you know what I'm saying? And man, she was, I'm talking about like a little energizer, but then, She was like a little energizer bunny. You know, like, oh, boy, off, off. You know, oh, boy, off drum line. Yeah. Pop. 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 She was like a little energizer bunny. So I was in the work and ass out, you feel me? But damn, boy, like, you know what I'm saying? We had to do the whole goddamn bag of dope or something, you feel me? I had to, I had to keep up with the little bitch. You know, I know, I know why they fuck again, you, know, you feel me? I know why, you know what I'm saying? So, damn, I was like, damn, bitch, like. After a while, you know, she didn't get all my damn dope, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, God, I gotta go back to the dope, man, and shit. You know, I just spun like two, three hundred on the bag, you feel me? God damn, rock, man. Hell yeah, man. We done went through that old goddamn bag, man. The whole weekend, man. Because we be on, only on for two days. Man, two days, three hundred dollars, kid. Now I had to go back and get more, you know what I'm saying, before I come out here, bro. He's like, man, but man, now I, I was really gonna act, bro, like, when we go home, man, let me use the little KY bottle, man. I'm going to bring it back. Right. No, I'm serious, man. Look, bro, look. Let me just use the KY bottle, bro. I'll bring Man, say, look, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Look. I'll let you use my KY bottle, dog. But you're going to have to bring that bitch back Monday. Not next Monday. Not the Monday after that, bitch. Not going to Walmart to get me a new bottle. I'm talking about, bro, when we come back Monday, when, when I see you rock, I need my KY bottle, dog. Man, yeah, she, 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 I got you, she. Come on, baby, I got you. I got you. Rock, you acting like a rock here right now. All right, just. Ah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so you going to let me borrow you gonna let me bark? Yeah, I got you. I got my nigga, man. I, man yeah, yeah, yeah. I, see, that's what I'm talking about, Key, bro. That's why I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be putting me on game with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. All right, bet that, bet that, bet that. All right, bro. We end up leaving. Me and Rock, when we, when you, anytime we came, anytime we was going into town, like, as far as going back to, going out of town, I fucked it all the way up. Anytime me and Rock was going back out of town, or we was coming back into the city, me and him always rode together, all right? Now, when me and Rock rode together, it was only a couple of times where it was other people who rode with us. But nine times out of ten, me and Rock always rode together, right? Now, Rock was a solid-ass dude. He wasn't no dude boy. He was older than I was, right? But Rock just understood certain things and, you know, from certain things that I needed. And I understood certain things that Rock needed, right? So, this is how you would usually go. Whenever we would go to get the gas to go... To, to where we was going, you know, Lake Charles, uh, anywhere, you know what I'm saying, uh, Fort Worth, where we was going, Rock will always be like, give me the sack, give me the reload, and I'll roll up for you. Because one day I asked him, you know what I'm saying, while I was driving, like, Rock, you think you can roll up, like, two or three of them for real quick for me, you know what I'm saying, or just roll up two, I'll blow the two down, you feel me, and then I'll be cool till I get to, to the hotel, and then when we start working, I'll roll up another one. He's like, bet, so Rock used to always roll up me, like, two, two L's, why you know what I'm saying? I was getting gas, or I'm about to start driving, or whatever the case may be. You know, he'll hit that bitch occasionally, but then Rock could go to sleep for the whole time, and then you know, I'd be like just doing me on the phone or whatever the case may be, listening to music. But now, times out of 10, I was usually on the phone with a female planning on what I'm about to do when I get out there. That Monday come, Rock pull up, get in the car, we headed to uh to the racetrack to fill up. Rock on my KY head. Man, she did right here, boy. I told you I had you. Boom. So he give me the KY. Bet. Good looking. Rock say, man, boy. Hey. She. She. Hey. She. Key. I said, what's up, man? He said, man, that shit right there. Boy, I got to get me a bottle of that, man. 
I said, what happened? He said, man, you know there's nobody I was telling you about? I said, yeah. I said, man, say, look, bro. When we got more dope, right? I get the dope, right? You know what I'm saying? Then I remember, like, oh shit, he gave me the KY bottles in my backpack, you feel me? So she she guapping the head thing, right? She guapping, right? But then, you know, I had pulled it out, you know what I'm saying, my little bag, that bitch in my pocket, while she guapping, right? So I ain't gonna like, yeah, I ate her. You know, I, I, I ate her. You know, I was a little munch, you know what I'm saying? I ate her. Then, right after that, right though, I'm to my, she laid down on my bag, bitch. And I had squirted it on my hand, and I, and I, you know what I'm saying, I got it right, right? So I put a legs up, key, and, and, and you know how, like, you know how, like, when you do push-ups, do your leg be straight out? Yeah, yeah, so I was like that. I, I had legs out, you know what I'm saying, and my leg was all the way back. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in on it, you feel me? And when I'm in I'm realizing real quick, like, not only is it been warm, super fucking wet, but I'm diving in her like a scuba diver, you feel me? I'm talking about, like, oh, boy, I'll, I'll big daddy, you feel me? I'm just an epic. I'm talking about, I'm hitting this so deep. She's like, oh, 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 rah, rah, rah. I'm talking about, I had her in that bit hollering, you feel me? Then I had turned the little ass over, you feel me? I booked over and I sprayed some more on me, you feel me? I sprayed some on me, huh? You know what I'm saying? I had it in the, in the butt, so I was just rubbing it like that right there, Keith. And next thing I know, bro, I, 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 I'm deep in her. I'm deep in her, you feel me? And she like, I ain't never had it like this. I ain't never had it like this. So I had to tell her, shut up. You feel me? I'm like, bro, why you hell? I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I'm talking about we was in that bitch having a party, you feel me? Then, bro, after all that shit happened, bro, we did more line, bro. And then we got right back to it. We got right back to it. But I ain't you all your KY, though. I ain't, I ain't you all of it. He bought me the bottle back. It had about that much in it. I, that nigga, what the fuck is this? So guess what I do? I said, man, you know where Rock? Huh, you keep that bitch, you feel me? Rock said, for real? I said, yeah, break. Shit, what hell, yeah, what, oh, what hell, yeah. So Rock kept the KY, you feel me? Rock told me about his little time with old good and everything that happened, you feel me? So I'm like, okay, yeah, my boy Rock up. This one, you feel me? That nigga that's solid in the motherfucker, you feel me? And that's the KY story, man. You know what I'm saying? I put rock on about that KY. But since I got a little bit of time, I'm going to give y'all another story. I'm going to give y'all two stories right now, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I, I, I told myself I'm going to get two stories. Um, I was looking at my notes this morning. I was like, okay, boy, I can do this story and I can do this story, you feel me? So here we go with the next story, right? So one day, I'm cooling. Now, if y'all like for me to do these type of things where I can get y'all two bangers in one video, jump in my comment section, let me know. I can start I can start doing two stories in one, you feel me? Uh, it'd probably be better anyways, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all two stories. So one day, I'm cooling, right? I was, when I was young, I had met this girl. She lived in Houston. Now, my cousin daddy stayed in Houston at this time, right? And I had ended up meeting this girl because he used to bring her over. There was his stepdaughter, right? He was married to her mom. Now, when I ended up meeting him when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Me and her had got together in a long distance relationship. Do I advise a long distance relationship? No. If y'all if y'all can maintain that and y'all can do what y'all do or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Don't never let nobody tell you what you can and can't do, you feel me? But I said, do I advise it? No, because you never know what can happen, you feel me? I'm talking about one night somebody could be feeling a little froggy, you feel me? They fur on and leap. They know you will never know. So they do what they do when they do how they do it, you feel me? So... Me and her in a relationship, whatever, you know what I'm saying? At this point in time, I'm not having sex, you know what I'm saying? So, she was like, she called me one day. She was like, Keith, look, I got to tell you something. I said, what's up, man? She's like, I can't I can't keep lying to you. I'm like, well, what's up? <sighs> it's this dude in my apartment complex, and I really like him, and I be messing with him, you know what I'm saying? And we be kissing a lot, and, you know, this, that, and the third. And, and so, I'm like, damn, that crazy as fuck, you feel me? My cousin, I'm out there, and ain't nobody saying nothing to me. Ain't nobody saying nothing to her. Nothing, so I'm like, damn, okay, that's a bet, you know what I'm saying? So, me and her broke it off. When my cousin them came back in town, you know, from that summer, I was asking her, like, damn, so ain't nobody was just gonna say nothing, you feel me, about old girl doing what she was doing? Like, y'all just, y'all was just cool with that shit, huh? Nah, bro, like, I mean, I mean, shit, what, what, what was we gonna say? You know what I'm saying? Stop cheating on my cousin, then shit, she was gonna continue to do it, bro, like, that's a bet. 
So I ended up getting with this female, my sixth grade year, because that happened like my fifth grade year. My sixth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade year, I ended up being with my middle school sweetheart, you know what I'm saying? And around this time, she was doing a lot of funneling. Now, I, can, I can't I can just straight put everything on her because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I, I messed up when I had my partners hunching on this girl. Like, we was all hunching on this girl, you know what I'm saying? And then my partners was hunching on the hunching on the hunching on her. and then after a while i was like nah like that's mine i'm the only one hunching on her and i was like damn kid like you've been letting us hunch on her for like a year and a half on the shit now all of a sudden you want to cuff that like what the fuck i'm like man that's mine you feel me like chill out with our lip so you know eventually you know what i'm saying that's what she got used to getting hunched on and like shit, shit i guess she liked it so shit, she kept doing the hunching you feel me so time go on you know so i'm still with this girl and it's like I'm, I'm 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 constantly getting played. I'm constantly getting this. I'm constantly getting that. And I feel some type of way about this shit. You feel me? In my mind, I'm thinking like, damn, that crazy fucker. Like, I ain't doing none of that to you, though. You feel me? Like, I'm talking about it was like times where my partners come up to me and be like, man, so you know such and such had told us she wanted us to run a train on her at the movies. You feel me? Damn, for real? I, they, they got hard evidence right here. You feel me? I go to her and ask her about shit. I'm like, so you gonna believe them over me? And I was so dumb. I was so gullible to this shit. I believed her, even though my dog was just told me that. You feel what I'm saying? So, that situation right there was really getting lukewarm. Okay? That situation right there was really getting... I advise anybody, bro, listen to me, bro. If you going through something in life, my nigga, like, I swear to God, bro, you better, like, get your shit together, you feel me? Because if you constantly getting signs on certain things, bro, don't keep going through the same thing, my nigga. Like, you got to kind of, you feel me? Like, fuck that. Like, you, you, people are worth too much for you to just constantly be going through the same thing, thinking you finna get a different result out of somebody who keep hurting you, bro. I'm just saying. So, my head was so stuck in the clouds, and I'm finna tell you why my head's are stuck in the clouds, right? My head's are stuck in the clouds because one day, right, when we started having sex at school. Well, you was having sex at school? Yes. Where at? On the stairs. We was doing it. We was doing it on the stairs, bro. So one day we having sex at school, we on the stairs, you feel me? And it's around lunchtime. Well, she... This this day right here, we didn't have sex. She just gave me the throat. Now, when she was giving me the throat, she gave me the throat, and I'm like, I'm about to bust. And she just looked at me and didn't say nothing. She just kept going, and she started going harder. I'm like, I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. And then next thing you know, I passed out. And then once I started ejaculating, I, ah, 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 my eyes started twitching. They're like, ah, ah, ah. My big toe curled up. And I bust in the mouth. She swallowed. Kept going. Finish him. Right? That's why my head was in the clouds with this girl. Uh, and I loved her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I loved her. And now that I think about it, like, who taught you that? Like, what? Like, you were swallowing in the A grade bit. Like, that's, that's some cold get down shit. You feel me? So, anyway. So, uh. That's why my head was in the clouds, and I feel like this girl could do no wrong. Well, at the time, like after a while, I found out about. I found out about uh. Her smashing that one dude after I had beat up one dude because she said that he touched her. So me and him fought in gym. You feel me? That's the same fight where I told you I'm I'm I'm, I ain't had no knockout power, but I'm just constantly in his shit. You feel me? And then he fall on one knee, and I ain't talking Colin Kaepernick. So I went to go, ugh. And as I'm doing this, Kim Folk came from the back and grabbed me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Let me go. Mm, what the fuck wrong with you? You feel me? It ain't worth it. Nigga, I got food on my plate. I'm trying to finish. And as I turn around, folk, that, that. No, no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. As I turn around, he grabbed me like this, threw me up to the bleachers. The bleachers was up. I hit the bleachers. Boom, hit this side of my face. When I hit that hole... I'm talking about everything was like black. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, I felt like I had, I had birds going around my head, bit of stars or something. And then next thing I know, as I'm trying to get up, fat, fat, he hit me right here exactly where 
I already got hit. So this big ass goose egg just kind of rose up on my shit. Like those are the only hits he got on me. And it looked like he got down on me, you feel me? Cause like his eye was black. He know was bleeding. But I had a big ass goose egg on my shit. You feel what I'm saying? So after they end up having I get suspended, she goes and smash a dude in our spot. So now I'm hot, right? I just got off suspension for this girl. Right? And in my mind, I'm about to crash out and go right back. But then, when I asked her about it, no, no, first I asked him about it. Because my cousin then was telling me, like, say, you know, fool, did with well, why ain't nobody step on this nigga neck, man? Y'all allowed that, dog. I asked him about it. He looked me dead in my eyes. He said, man, key, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it happened, bro. Bet. So I go and ask her. She lied. When she lied, I said, bet. I said, you, you can have that. I ain't tripping off of that, right? So, well, key, did you get back with her? Yeah. Yeah, sadly. What? I know. I know. All I can do is be honest, bro. I ain't finna sit up here and lie about it. Yeah, I had got back with that girl. You feel me? I think it was her throat game, man. And she had a good box. So, it, I don't know. I was just young, dumb, and full of cum. You feel me? I ain't gonna hold you. I understand what they saying really mean now. So, <laughs> so check me out. So, it was 2000... Ooh. When did... The Saints versus the Indianapolis Colts. Okay. This was around this time. Because the chick that I was with, her favorite team was the Colts. Okay. I always been a Jets fan. I'm not going to say always because first I started out as a Randy Moss fan. You know, and then um, from Randy Moss and them, I started fucking with Santana Moss. You know what I'm saying? From the, uh, when Santana Moss played for the... Uh, the Redskins. I always been a wide receiver fan. I always been a wide receiver fan. Uh, I like the LT. Uh, and then once LT went to the Jets, and they had got LT, they had got Brett Favre, they had um, uh, Freak Nass. I used to call that nigga Freak Nass. The uh, cause that nigga was cold. Uh, damn, what full name? Anyway, but they had they had a squad. They had a squad over there. You feel me? Like the boys had a whole squad over there. Um, I saw fuck with the Jets, right? So, these two teams is irrelevant for me. Now, old girl who liked it, the Colts, the one who swallowed me up and snatched my soul, she was supp- I was supposed to be going with her to do something, but all of a sudden, they was going to a party, her, her mom and her sister and all them, and I couldn't go, right? So, I'm like, all right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Super Bowl party. So, my cousin, daddy... Right, my cousin daddy Pee Wee hit me up and he was like, Hey, what you got going? I'm like, man, I'm just cooling. What you got going? He's like, Man, shit. But I had a little Super Bowl party, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, such such over here. I'm gonna just call her Leah. So, Leah over here. I'm like, Oh, for real? I'm like, Man, put on the phone real quick. I'm like, Man, what's up? Now, mind y'all real quick, right? Mind you, before that happened, she used to always come back over and meet. Matter of fact, let me just, I'm gonna start that and I'm gonna come back to this part. My fault for fucking up like that. She used to come to my granny house on New Moon, right? New Moon Drive. When she used to come over, you feel me? Like, me and her used to, like, we talked about everything that happened when she was in Houston and when we was young. She was like, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? You know, I really like you. You know, like, I've been knowing you for a long time now. You know, sometimes me and you occasionally kick and talk on the phone. You know what I'm saying? All that. And I was like, yeah. So, we used to talk all the time, and I used to tell her about the girl that I was with. Okay. And she was like, yeah, see, that's not right. She shouldn't be doing you like that. You deserve somebody better. I'll let you walk up in the third. So I used to be so sarcastic to her. I'm like, yeah, I said the same thing about you. You feel me? So me and her used to talk. We used to kick it. And me and her used to start kissing a lot in my granny car. And not in my granny car, but somebody else's car. We'll get in the car, start kissing. She'll let me play with that thing. You feel me? So she wasn't highly experienced where she was going to pull down the clothes and get the doing all that now nah, it wasn't it wasn't on that type of time you feel me so me and her built a relationship without getting in a relationship you feel me so back to the night what people we call me yeah you know leah over here man put on the phone real quick man 
I'm like, man, what you got going? She like, nothing over here about the, you know what I'm saying, be at the party. I'm like, man, all uh, people just told me I can come through. You feel me? Why don't y'all come scoop me? Tell them come scoop me on shit. She like, all right, bet I got you. I got you. We'll be over there after a while. I'm like, bet that, bet that, bet that. Boom, so I hang up the phone. Now, this was kind of like getting towards the nighttime, right? So I ended up trying to call my lady. Yeah, no response. I tried to call her again. No response. So I'm like, damn, all right. Whatever, you feel me? Like, shit. They come scoop me. When they come scoop me, we go to a Pee Wee Peeper house, you feel me? Him, here, brother Punk, and like all them boys. You know what I'm saying? We all over there just kicking it. Well, as we kicking it, me and her made a bet. Because even though I ain't no Saints fan, I had told her that, um, that uh, the Saints was going to lose. She was a Saints fan. Okay? They all, damn, all of them was Saints fans. I'm not a Saints fan, but I was like, man, the Saints going to lose, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Colts going to beat them. That's when they had, the, the Colts had Panic, Peyton Manning. They had motherfucking Edron James. They had motherfucking Dallas Colt. I mean, Dallas Clark. You feel me? They had that with Marvin Harrison. Bro, they had uh, 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 Bob Sanders on defense. Dwight Freeney. You feel me? They had, man, they had a squad over there. They had a squad over there. But then, you know, Saints had a squad with Drew Brees. They had motherfucking, um, 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 I don't think they had Bridget. They had somebody else in the backfield, you feel me? Marcus Colston, you feel me? Uh, man, they had a squad over there. So, you know me, she, I'm just like, man, the Colts gonna win. She like, you wanna bet? I'm like, bet. So, what's the bet? Wait, what, what, what's the bet? She was like, if I win, she was like, if I win, damn what she said. If I win something, and I was like, shit, if I win, you got to stay the night with me. She's like, all right. Long story short, she ended up winning. So, and it was on some fluke ass shit, bro. Because the Colts was going down the damn field. Peyton Manning threw a pick. When he threw that pick in the fourth fucking quarter, them boy went down there and scored. I knew it was over with right then and there. So they won. When they won, you know, I forgot what the fuck her, what her bed was. Anyway, Pee Wee taking me home. As he taking me home, he stopped. We right in front of my house. He stopped. And he like, hey, let me holler at you. I'm like, what's up? He like, look, I got to go handle some business real quick. You feel me? Um, You think you could, you could watch her for me. Yes. People, he looked at me, he started laughing, he said, look. He said, shit, hey, I don't need business, eh? Shit, I don't need business, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go handle some business real quick. Um, I'll come back and get a later on. Bet. So we go in my house right now. Y'all already know. My mama work night shifts. When my mama working night shifts, it's up. You feel me? So we go in the house. She like, I told you, I told you I was gonna win that bet. I told you I was gonna win that bet. I'm like, nah, you, you, you did say that you did win that bet, right? So we just sitting there, we just talking, laughing, conversating, everything. You feel me? And uh, so as we just, you know, what I'm saying, politics, just talking and everything, right? She get the land down on my chest, and she get the rubbing on my stomach. So as she doing that, the phone rang, and I used to always have a, the house phone in my room. I had a house in my room. Mama had a house phone in her room. That the house phone rang, and I had one of the house phones where you could see the call ID. So, boom, I see old girl mama name, and I was like, This her right here, right? So, as I'm saying it, I answer the phone, I'm like, Hello, and I put that bitch on speaker. She like, What you doing? I was like, Man, I had called you like a couple times. Well, she like, Boy, I was busy. I was like, Damn, I was just saying I had called you, like, and I'm telling you, I was busy, but what you doing right now? I'm like, Man, shit, I'm just. I'm just chilling like, wait, what type of time are you on? She's like, no, I'm just saying you always asking questions. You always asking questions and shit. Like, damn. I'm like, all right, that's a bit. That's a bit. As she's saying that, girl, look at me like, I'm like, mm -hmm. she's like, so what you doing? I'm like, man, I'm just laying down. You know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, I just came back from this party and everything. And woo -woo. as she's saying that, girl unzips my zipper, pulls them out, and get the guapping. So I'm just sitting back. I'm listening to her. I'm like, oh, shit. Man, hey, say, I'm, uh, 
Now I'm on something right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just call you back later. What? Yeah, I'm on something right now. I'll just hit you back later. I'm about to go to sleep or something. I don't know. Click. Boom. So she, she trying to blow my phone up on some shit. You feel me? I'm not answering that bit. Why? Because I'm getting guapped up around that bitch. You feel me? Oh, good. Handling business. So next thing you know, boom. We start having sex. Boop till her last over. Gave her the business. Giving her the business, I'm like, damn, her shit feel like, like, nigga, like, like, them chocolate chip cookies that came out the oven, bitch. I'm talking about, and, it, and in my mind, because you got to think all this, everything didn't already happen. Old girl then cheated on me, asked my homeboys to do what they was going to do, asked my cousin to do what he was going to do, asked, asked, smashed a whole nother dude at the school, you feel me? I'm talking about, it was so much going on, so like, as I'm, as I'm, I'm handling business, my mind ain't thinking about all that, but this is more so like revenge for me because in my mind I'm like, yeah, like you did all that old five dirt ass shit, you feel me? Now, now I'm out here handling business, you feel me? And I handled that, you feel me? I'm talking about me and her did what we was gonna do, you feel me? She cleaned up, you know what I'm saying? I cleaned up, and then we we laid back down, and she went to sleep on me. Pee wee ended up coming back, picking her up, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, you good? I'm like, nah, I'm good. He was like, alright, bet. And then got up out that bitch, you feel me? Oh girl, that next day she comes, she was like, so 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 what so what was you doing? I was like, man, shit, I had ended up falling asleep, you feel me? I had went having some bit with my partner and I had ended up falling asleep. She was like, mm, you had did that way too fast. I said, nah, cause sometimes you be doing that, don't you? Don't start you don't don't try to put this on me, don't do that. Oh, I was, nah, I was just asking. Cause that's the same shit you be doing sometimes, you know? Yeah, okay. These stories right here make me you know what i'm saying like when i tell stories i like to let y'all into my life and what i've been through and certain things that happened to me you know what i'm saying because life is always gonna life right when i tell my stories that's real life shit you know what i'm saying i don't have time to lie about some shit you know what I mean? To sound cool. I don't have time to stretch the truth to sound cool. Right? Now, that's the easiest thing you can do because a lot of people, they like to hear those type of things. You know what I mean? They would, they would People would love to hear you lie than you actually telling the truth. You see what I'm saying? People would love to hear you fabricate a story than to tell the truth. And they know you lying. And then when it comes out, you're lying. Man, I knew that whole ass nigga was lying, bro, the whole time. You feel me? I ain't believe none of that nigga was saying, bro. How when you was the one who introduced me to him, you feel me? You told me he he the best on, on the internet. He the best at this end, but he a liar, bro. You fed into that. That's what you wanted to hear, a lie. Now the, the, truth, the truth then came out about this nigga lying. Now you mad. You see what I'm saying? Like, that don't that don't make no sense to me. But at the end of the day, that's what's going on. A lot of people are promoting ignorance. You see what I'm saying? And y'all got to watch out for this shit. Because when you indulge in certain things and you and you and you listen to it, it becomes you. Like have you ever noticed if you listen to somebody so long, you will start saying the same things that they say? Hmm? Have you like, have you ever been around somebody or like you got a partner? You and your partner together, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, it's always the female. The female be with a dude so long, she'll start saying the same stuff that he says. Me and my wife were talking the other day, and she said something to me. And she was like, shit, I, I do what I can do, and I can do it how I can do it. And I said, okay, I see you. I see you. That was sexy as hell to me when she said it. Because that's what I say on a regular, like, every day. Like, I don't just do this for you, too. I be at the house with the the same shit I be on here with. I be at my crib doing that. I be talking to my old lady. I be like, I be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what I said. Uh, Okay, just for, just for, just. Some simple, I be like, you know, I, right, I'm, I'm paint chair, pretty picture. I ain't talking about Ross, right? My old lady be saying shit like that now. You hear me? She, she'll say some shit. She, oh, one time she was like, 
All right, babe, don't make me get on your ass. And I ain't talking P. Diddy. I said, you hell, man. You hell, man. You hear me? And then she be like, sometimes we'll be talking. She be like, uh, she be like, uh, you feel me? You, 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 you feel me? I be like, man, chill out, bro. Because that's what I be saying. You feel me? <laughs> oh, shit, but. When you indulge in certain things and you listen to somebody so much, it becomes you. And depending on what you're listening to, depending on what you indulge in, depending on what you let your kids listen to and everything like that, it becomes y'all. And then that's what y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like if you listen to music and all the music talking about the slide, drilling, killing, sticks, all that, that's what you're going to do. That's the life that you're going to live. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you listening to, whatever you 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 indulging in, whatever you putting into your body, that's what you become. So be careful, because you don't want you don't want to listen to a liar. You know they lying, and that's what you become. You don't want to listen to a motherfucker who talk about killing all the time, and that's what you want to become. I can't speak on that Fulio situation because I'm a civilian. I ain't no gangster. I ain't in the streets. I ain't none of that. You feel me? So his situation is nothing to speak on when you don't live that life. But his decisions he made, nine times out of ten, from what he consumed, led to that. Y'all gotta be careful out here, man, because you never know what could happen to you. Just keep it being dog. Let me only ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now, I appreciate everybody who been rocking my videos. You feel me? I got y'all a two-for-one special. You know what I'm saying? Um, And, uh, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this right here, man. Uh, Y'all just stay tapped in for me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't make a video yesterday because uh, I was out. Uh, I had um, two stops to do yesterday. It was pretty long. Got I had an opportunity to make a video, but it was also an opportunity to eat my food. So I ate my food instead of making the video. And uh, then I had went home, man, and shit. I had football practice last night with my boys. So, you know, I, shit, I was really just from my family type shit. You feel me? So, um, but that's why I gave y'all two for one a day. You know what I'm saying? Just to make the video a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all a little more content, man. I just appreciate everybody who's been rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm talking about everybody who's just been rocking me, who's just been tapped in to the kid, you know what I'm saying, and who just really been been commenting, liking, you know what I'm saying, sharing. You know, all this shit, it, it, it adds up for me, you know what I'm saying. And to be honest with you, like, the more that y'all push out my content, it helps me to, to be able to reach one and teach one, you know what I'm saying. And I'll never forget the people who really in the, in my corner who really just rocking with the kid who really want to see me succeed and i never forget the ones who don't want to see me succeed you feel what i'm saying at the end of the day bro make sure you're doing you you know what i'm saying make sure whatever you're doing in life bro that's what you want to do in life you feel me never let nobody force you to do anything you know what i'm saying and shit we just gonna we just gonna keep it pushing you feel me but look man we're gonna at all times, keep your head on swivel. At all times, stand your P's and Q's. You feel me? Keep your head held high. You feel me? We gonna constantly, we gonna constantly apply pressure on that. You feel me? I'm talking about my foot on that neck. You feel me? And if they can't breathe, bitch, we applying more pressure. For real, for real. So just keeping it the bang, dog.